Hi guys, I'm back with another Minecraft Java on Mobile with Seder. And today, we're going to compare the two different launchers of Minecraft in mobile. I've set a few test levels for this video so we can really compare which one is I think is better. These are the key comparison points that we will test in this video. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go now! In Pojav Launcher, the launcher is fast and simple. You can download Minecraft version and install Optifine or Fabric or other profiles. While in Foldcraft, it has more features like you can change skins right before you start the game. And another good thing for Foldcraft Launcher is you can download mods and shader packs inside the launcher. So, for the launcher category, I'll say Foldcraft wins. Next is the controls. I played Pojav Launcher back in the days, so I really like how you can customize the controls in Pojav Launcher. While in Foldcraft Launcher, it's more of an advanced version of customizing the controls. And I also found some bugs in Foldcraft controls, like sometimes the HUD is not showing properly. Plus, sometimes I can't click the inventory directly like in Pojav Launcher. I have to use scroll up and down button just to navigate to my inventory in Foldcraft. But still, you can play both properly with their present control settings. For this category, Pojav Launcher is my pick. Next is playing Minecraft without shaders. Which one is more stable? I've set both launcher to its peak performance settings with the same settings inside Minecraft. I'm going to show you side-by-side -side comparison and let's check out the FPS for both launcher. It's pretty close, but Pojav Launcher has less frame drops and a bit more FPS in this test. So let's go for Pojav Launcher for this round. Let's go to the next round which is with shader packs. I use Makeup Ultra Fast Shader for this video, so let's start. In this round, even though Pojav Launcher has a bit more FPS than Foldcraft, Pojav Launcher has some FPS drops in some scenarios. So if you don't mind a bit FPS drops sometimes, you can go for Pojav Launcher, but my pick here is Foldcraft for the stable FPS. Next is Nighttime with Shaders. For this round, it seems Pojav Launcher has a higher FPS, 
So let's give this to Poju Vlogger. Next, we're going to the nether. But before that, if you are enjoying this kind of video, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. In this round, both of them has a lot of noticeable frame drops. I don't know, maybe they don't like the feeling inside the nether. Well, I don't like nether ha ha ha. So for this round, I'll say it's a tie. But what do you guys think? Next, we're going to visit a friend, the Ender Dragon. Let's go! Okay, it's an obvious tie right here. There's not a lot of things happening here at the end worlds, so both of the launcher performs well. Let's go on to the last and final round, the Distant Horizon Test. This will be our settings for both launchers. I waited a few minutes for my device to cool down its temperature so it will not affect the testing of this video. For some reason, Foldcraft is losing FPS whenever Distant Horizon is generating chunks. While in the other hand, Poja Launcher is keeping its FPS stable even if it's also generating chunks. So, I think it's Poja Launcher who wins the last round. So in the end, Poja Launcher got a total of 6 points and Foldcraft Launcher got a total of 4 points. Which means Poja Launcher wins for being stable and better controls. It has ups and downs like it's kinda hard to install mods compared to Foldcraft which is so much easier to install a lot of mods. It really comes down to player's preference. But what do you guys think? You can write your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye guys.